So, hello guys. Um, sa video natin ngayon, we are going to discuss higher order derivatives. So, in the previous um, videos, ang ginawa lang natin class is to solve for the first derivative of a given function. So, yung first derivative natin is that yun yung y prime natin. So, what if i-derive ko ulit yung na-derive na? Kung baga, i-derive ko yung derivative ng function. So, ibig sabihin, min dalawa na ako nag-derive. So, ibig sabihin yung class, that is now the second order derivative. And then, pag dinerive ko ulit yun, yun yung pangatlo na. Kaya siya tinawag na higher order derivatives. Okay? So, for instance, class, yung function natin is yung f of x natin or that is your y. di ba? Pag kinuha natin yung derivative nito, that is your dy, the derivative of your function y with respect to x, or that is the first derivative. Or that can also be rewritten as the f prime of x. Or that is also, um, that can also be rewritten as y prime. Pag dinerive ko ulit to class, yung sagot dito, dinerive ko ulit, that is now the second derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, ganyan siya isusulat class, no? So, or f double prime x or y double prime. Or the third derivative of y with respect to your x or that is f triple prime x or y triple prime. Okay? So, walang, walang magbabago sa mga rules sa differentiation. Parang sundan mo pa rin. Okay? Pare-parehas lang yung rules niyan. So, let's take this for example. Given, okay, number 1. Y is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3. O for instance, um, gawin natin class is e-derive natin siya hanggang maging 0 siya. Okay, so first is the first derivative of um, the function. So derivative of y is y prime, so that's the first derivative equals, so x cubed, the first derivative of x cubed, that is 3x squared minus um, baba, so times 2, yung exponent natin, so that is 4 x minus 1, so 4x, and the derivative of 3 is 0. So that is the first derivative, no? So, that is the first derivative. Next, y double prime. So, i-derive ulit natin class, yung na-derive na. So, that is the second derivative. So, equals, maging 6x. Then, the derivative of 4x is 4. Okay? So, that is your second derivative. Okay, then y triple prime. So, 6x, derivative of the 6x class is 6. And then, derivative of the negative 4 class is 0. So, that is your third derivative. And then, lastly, class, para maging 0 siya, malamang ang derivative ng constant ay 0. So, y triple prime, that is 0. So, that is the fourth derivative. So, if the question is, pang ilang, deriv um, pang -ilang order para maging 0 siya, um, fourth derivative Okay? So pag tinanong is Find the third derivative Or find y triple prime Of this given function Ang sagot ay 6 Okay? So um, What is the second derivative of this function? Ang sagot ay 6x minus 4 Okay? Walang pinagbago So process ng pag -de derive Okay? So next example so, number two, find f double prime 8, okay, given f of x is equal to um, negative 3x squared plus 5x minus 1. Okay, class, ang tinatanong is f double prime 8. Okay, nakita mo, 8 na siya, hindi na siya x. So, nalito ka na. Gawin mo lang class is, ibig sabihin double prime, second derivative. So, i-copy mo si f of x mo. So, that is negative 3x squared plus 5x minus 1. And then, kunin natin ang first derivative. So, that is f prime x. That is um, negative 6x. And then, derivative ni 5x is 
5. Derivative the negative 1 is 0. And then f double prime x now is, ano ang derivative the negative 6x class? That is negative 6. And then derivative the 5 is 0. Okay. Meron na tayong f double prime x class. Now, ang gagawin mo lang is ipalit mo lang ngayon si 8 kay x. So, maging f double prime 8 is equal to negative Mayroon bang x dito? Makakapagpalit ba tayo ng x dito? Makakasubstitute pa tayo ng x? Hindi. So, ang sagot pa rin dyan ay negative 6. So, ang sagot dyan class ay negative 6. Okay? Okay. Let's try another example. Number 3. Um, find the second and third derivative of y is equal to 1 all over x. Okay? So, find the second and third derivative of y equals 1 all over x. So, ang function natin is 1 all over x. Um, two ways to solve this one. Um, ay, una, y prime muna, no? So, pwede mong gamitan ng quotient rule. Okay, so gamitan natin yung quotient rule. Ito ang x ang low ko, ang 1 ko ang aking high. So, low si x, derivative ni high, that is, derivative ni 1 is 0. Minus high, that is 1, derivative ni low is 1. Tama ba? And then, low is squared. So, x is squared. So, if you're going to simplify that one, x times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1, of course. And then negative 1. So, negative 1 all over x squared. So, that is your first derivative. So, ang required sa atin is to solve for the second derivative. Okay? So, let's continue the um, process. So, y double prime now means ito na yung kanyang second derivative. Okay? So, magiging... Um, Law, so ito na ang bago mong law. This one now your new high. Tama ba? So law ko is x squared times derivative ni high. So that's negative 1. So derivative of a constant is 0 minus high. Derivative ni negative, um, copy po na si negative 1. Derivative ni law, so that is 2x. Tama ba? All over square ni law. x squared squared. Let's continue. So, y double prime now is x squared times 0. That is 0. Negative 1 times 2x is 2x times negative. Don't forget to distribute this negative sign. So, it becomes positive 2x. All over, x squared is squared. So, 2 times 2, loss of exponent. Okay? So, 2 times 2 is 4. So, it becomes x to the 4th. So, if you're going to simplify this one, Maka-cancel tong x dito, maka-cancel yung x doon. So may naiwan na is uh, maka-cancel yung isang x dito no. So maging x cubed na lang siya. So your y double prime class or the second derivative is m2 all over x cubed. Tama ba? Okay. So that is now the second derivative. 2 all over x cubed. Now, we are also required to Solve for its third derivative. So, ilagay ko na lang dito sa right. So, y triple prime. So, given class is 2x cubed. Okay. So, law. Ang law ko na ngayon dito ay si x cubed. Ang high ko na ngayon ay si 2. So, law is x cubed times derivative ni high which is 2 that is 0 minus high that is 2 times derivative ni law. So, x cubed kaya baba. 3, copy the base, minus 1, derivative ni x is 1. All over x cubed, square. Okay, law squared. x cubed, squared. So, done? Okay. So, y triple prime. So, x cubed times 0 is 0. So, then 2 times 3 is 6. The negative sign, so that is negative 6x squared. All over x cubed raised to 2 or x cubed squared. So, 3 times 2, that is 6. So, that is 
x to the 6 power. So, magka-cancel out tayo, matanggal si x squared, magtanggal tayo ng dalawa sa exponent ni denominator. So, y triple prime now is negative 6 all over x to the 4. So, that is your, um, that is the third derivative of the function y is equal to 1 all over x. Okay? So, walang nagbago sa mga process. Tuloy-tuloy lang. Okay? So, that's for the higher order derivatives.